So in the coming exercise, we continue to play around with the three-dimensional object we have just done. So in the previous one, we have seen that if we would like to, for example, modify the appearance, the location, rotation of this particular objects over here. In this window, we can use a mouse to drag around to have a different view of the objects. But if in the output window, you might need to, for example, to permanently change the parameter over here, the translate rotate scale, in order to alter the appearance of the objects within the graphical scene. So in that case, we can, for example, actually type in some of those numbers over here to change the appearance. But of course, the way we typing in is not very automatic in a sense. You have to use your hand to type in the number and then to change. Even though if you can use the mouse to press and then to select and to move around to change the location. So this is not the way we would like to use, for example, as the tools to create animation. So in a way, we will make use of some number in order to put it into those parameters like the translate rotate. And to generate those number in touch designer, we come with the discussion of the new section of the command we call the chop, that's the channel operator. So the use of channel operator actually they manipulate number. Some of them they can create a sequence of number by itself. So we'll take a look of those selection and then to to play around with the use of those number into the animation. So we start the payback of the animation first and then we'll select for example some of the channel operator. The first one we would like to have a look is called the bit B -E -A -T. So if you zoom in and take a look of the BAT, so it actually is a sequence of number which loop from 0 to 1 and then back to 0 again. And if you take a look of this number and then try to imagine how you can make use of this sequence of number to control, for example, the rotation of the graphics over here. And the way is, for example, you can make use of this number and try to place it inside into the number over here. And the number over here for the rotation, for example, come with the unit of degree. So you have 1 degree, 2 degree, up to 360 for a complete rotation. So for this number, it's a little bit too small for this purpose. So we come with another operator in the channel operation. So this is a very generic one we call the mathematics math. And you can use the math to perform mathematic calculation. So the way is you connect this one to the math. And if you do nothing, it will just replicate the number over here. And if you would like to change, for example, the range of the number over here. So in the very beginning, you have the range between 0 and 1. And if you would like to amplify this one to the range of 0 to 360 or 359, you can put it over here so you will see a range between 0 to 360 over here. And after you have this sequence of number, you can make use of it for some creative purpose. For example, if you select the geometry back over here, and you want, for example, 
to make use of this number called the ramp to control the rotation in the y-axis. So the job is pretty simple. You have to do something called the export chop, export the channel operator. The step will be, first of all, we select the thread over here called the viewer active. And then it will remove the window over here and the cursor become the triangular shape like this one. And you put this one towards the name of this variable, RAMP, and then press your button, the left one, and drag it to the location like rotate in the Y axis and release your mouse button. Select the export chop over here. So once you put it over here, you can see the change in the number which will have a fluctuation of this one over here. You can also reset this one and then go back to have a look of your graphics. So in this case, you can see the graphics is actually rotating itself by the amount you specify in the rotate in Y direction. So this is one of the use of the channel operator. You can make use of the bit operation in order to have an automatic animated effect. And we can also take a look of other channel operator. The bit is a more regular one. It's start from zero and move to one and then back to zero again. So there are other one which is not so regular. We call the noise. So the noise, as you can see from the graphical display, is a channel operator which have the number range from minus one to positive one in a random fashion. You can, of course, also put it, for example, with a mess again and then connect them together. And in the mathematics operation, you can specify the range, for example, initially. It is from minus 1 to 1. And then the output can be, for example, minus 3 to positive 3 in this case. And again, we make use of this number to, for example, control like say the translate in the y-axis of this particular objects. So we follow the step again. We select the viewer active, select the variable channel 1, and then drag it to like translate in the y-axis. Choose export chop and then deactivate it again you can see the jumping up and down of this particular graphics within the three-dimensional space by the amount that is specified in the channel operator over here. And the output from the final outcome will be like this one. And if you find that it's quite difficult to see the whole picture, so because it's the placement of the camera is too close to your objects. We can actually change the location of the camera by selecting the camera and then go to the parameter with the translate over here. So by default, it is along the exact axis with five units away from the origin. You can put in, for example, a larger number over here, like 10, and then have a look again it will be like this one. So this is the use of the channel operator to play around with the automatic animation effect.